Priya, this spinach and ricotta pie is going to be delicious. You mm. will love every single bit of it. It's got a whole lot of really nice ingredients that mm. I think work really, really well together. Now, already in my pan here, I have some onion and some garlic that's sizzling away in some extra virgin olive oil, which mm. will make it delicious. And I'll add some silver beet to that. I knew you'd love this. We have a great love affair of silver beet, do we not, Richo? We both love the stuff. It's like a really, really oh. dense spinach. It's uh, packed full of, uh, what's that word? Do you Goodness. Like to use? It's exactly. got so much goodness in it. It's got iron, it's got zinc, it's good for the immune system, it's a great source of fibre. It's so good and it cooks down to nothing and you eat a small portion of it but you pack a real veggie punch. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And it will grow... Oh, I need, the, the, need those oh, bits there yeah. as well. So I good. use the stem. So do I. So oh. I usually cut up the, uh, the leaves like that and then with the stems I'll cut them into smaller pieces. Now, while I'm doing this, Priya, I've mm. got some garlic chives there which are fantastic. They grow really easily. And some parsley. If you can chop it up nice and fine or, you know, into little bits and pieces um, so that they go through the herbs. This is all about lots of herbs. Love it. Lots of silver beet, lots of spinach yes. and ricotta, which we add at the end. Now, you can see the stem. I separate it from the leaves and then cut it up nice mm. and fine. It's almost like celery. I use it in a similar manner for a little bit of crunch. And if you... I, look, we're getting very <laughs> competitive here. Oh. I make a similar... Pie as well. We're not. We could have had a pie off. I make it really luscious, so I'm adding lots of goodness to it mm. and sort of balancing it out with some things to make it nice and creamy. Now you can see that the stem of the silver beet goes straight in there. If you want to cook silver beet, and that's the thing I love about silver beet, you can cook it for a long time. You can. It actually stews down. Whereas spinach, you only want to cook for a little bit. A short period, agree. Exactly. Now, a pinch of salt in there because salt makes everything taste delicious mm. and also a good twist of black pepper to make mm. it even more tasty. How are you going with those herbs? I'm, I'm nailing it, I good, think. Good, good, good. She good. says with confidence and flair. Now, I'll grab a, a nice handful of uh, baby spinach and pop nice. this on the top here. I like that you're using two types of spinach, Richard. Exactly. Well, it's all about ricotta and spinach. Now, baby spinach mm. wilts down really, really quickly. So it's about a minute after being in the pan, it's ready to go. So I just toss it around nice and gently like this, and you can see all of a sudden it'll just drop. Yes. And will. that's where it's wilted it's enough. nothing. You'll have a big bag of it, what of it, and it's gone to nothing. It's gone to nothing. Now, yes. I'll grab those, or you can grab those herbs and throw them in because yes. I want the herbs to mix in with mm. the spinach. Now, garlic chives is something not a lot of people use. Yeah, I don't. I love them. They've got a great flavour to them, great in, uh, in Asian dishes. Now, I'll just give this a bit of a toss mm. around so you can see it's starting to heat up. I don't want to have it too hot. I just want to wilt the spinach down. Mm. You can see it's already softening up. Give that a bit of a toss, and to me, that's ready to go. So at this stage here, I'll grab the pan and mm. pop everything in here. Now, normally, I would let all this cool down before I add the rest of the ingredients, but, you know, we're in a hurry. Yes. So we're going to do what we call hot loading. We're going to throw it all in there. Four eggs there. I want you to crack those eggs straight into here. Perfect. And into the uh, silver beet, the onion, the garlic and the spinach, I'll add pine nuts and I'll add some of these currants, which give it a little bit of sweetness. Now, I've got some lemon there. If you can mm. microplane a little bit of lemon sure. in there as well. And I'll put this ricotta cheese. And you can see this is a fantastic cheese. I love ricotta. Mm. It's really firm. Mm. And you can eat it on its own. Now, I've also got some sour cream goes in there, a good dollop of sour cream to mix it all around. That's perfect. Not content, perfect. Exactly. And I'll break this up till it all starts to come together. And while I'm breaking this up, mm. you've got some cream in your yes. hand. I want you to pour a little bit of cream yes. straight into here. And you can really break it up and mush it up, or you can just leave the ricotta a little bit chunky I'm, and I'm waiting for you to say when. Oh, that'll be just a little bit more. Go a on. A little bit more. So I'm when? thinking, Richo, you could do it without potentially the cream if you wanted to, which is how I do mine. OK. If you want to do a kind of, um, you know, a, a healthier spin on it. And that's broken up beautifully. Beautiful. But I've left it a little bit chunky as well, and that's yeah. really important because I want to come across those ricotta pieces. Yes. Because this is all about ricotta. Now, pick this baby up here. Grab the katafi out, which is my secret weapon, okay. to take it to the top. Here we go. And I'll spoon all of this mixture into this oven-proof dish, which is ready to go. Yum. Look at that. You loving that? I'm loving that. This is great for kids too. If you're struggling with kids not getting enough veggies in, a meal like this, if they'll eat something like this with the, with the cheeses in it, 
is just such a nice way to get it in. Exactly. And I know there's a lot of iron and stuff yes, in there, which is the important part of the diet. So if you're not having something, this is a meat-free dish. Beautiful. I love this. With lots this of pastry. Easy. You love this. Now, I this is katafi pastry. The trick is to bring this up to room temperature. I'll put mm. that aside yes. there. Bring it up to room temperature and then break it apart nice and mm. gently so it becomes nice and wispy, which is what I'm looking yes. for. So I've just done that. Look at that. It's yeah, almost like a Santa Claus beard. You could, yeah, no, you you could, could do that. Or I could hair. do that. Looks it like is, your hair, Richo. It could be. In a couple more years, it will be. Now, I'll just pour a little bit of butter over the top of that just to, uh, to moisten it. Because with katafi yes. and phyllo pastry, which is very similar, you need that oil or that butter to make it fry. I would use the extra virgin olive oil just because it's better for your heart health and cholesterol. Exactly. But you can use butter if you're doing a treat. And then this bit here, what I, I do this. is grab the katafi and sort of just lightly yes. sprinkle it on so the katafi sits up and becomes mm. nice and fluffy. And we just go around the edges here like that. You're loving this part, I'm aren't you? I'm loving it. This is right. easy. I think, you know, I always hear katafi pastry and I get a bit nervous. But look at that. That was so easy. Now, I like to just fluff it up a little bit. Oh. I like the sesame seeds, unroasted sesame seeds over the top there. Mm. You can't really see them now, but once it starts cooking, Thanks, they go all over the place. Mm. You can see we made a little bit of a mess here, but it all goes on there. Put the last couple of pieces on there. Oh. Now, this will go into the oven. It'll cook at about 180 degrees Celsius. It'll take about 35 to 40 minutes mm. to cook, depending on the thickness of your pie dish. Mm -hmm. But you'll know it's cooked when the inside is nice and hot and set and the outside, the katafi on top, is nice and golden brown. Mm. Let's get this in the oven and then we'll clean all this up and I can't wait to show you how delicious this is. The award-winning spinach and ricotta pie by Richo. So confident. I know. Crisp on top. It's almost like my hair, isn't it? It is. It's I like thought... a mini Richo in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now I'm just going to cut through the uh, the pastry because it's so mm. crispy, isn't it? I love how it's crisped up and it's so delicate still because it's so thin. It's beautiful. Exactly. exactly. Now I'll scoop out a nice mm. big piece of pie from the bottom there so we can see all that goodness oh, and pop it down. Beautiful. Look at that spinach, the ricotta there. I'll grab yes. a little bit more from here and it's all held together beautifully. By putting some eggs in there, it binds it all together so it's not a soppy mixture. Mm. It's actually quite firm. Now have Wonderful. a little taste of Thank that. you, Richard. I'm going to sneak over here. Wonderful. I'm liking the big chunks of cheese in there mm. and it's going to be nice and, mm. and gooey in a way and the spinach and the silver beet hold up really well together. That comes together beautifully. I love the stalks of the silver beet. I just got a bit. It was really crunchy. That's beautiful. Mm. And, of course, the katafi pastry. Mm. Mm. That's a great pie and fantastic for serving a whole lot of people. What do you think? I absolutely agree, Richo. And I agree with you. <laughs>